Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can go uh, into and out of manual mode when you're using IQ and how I find that very useful. Alright, so down here I've got this little quilt I'm doing. IQ is stitching the sashings which come here and here. On the fussy cut squares I'm going to stitch around the edge of the motif. So I need to go out of computer control in order to do that. Now if we look up at the screen you can see I've I've marked the sashing blocks and I've put the pattern that I'm going to stitch on those sashing blocks in them so they're all ready. I've also sequenced them. IQ is going to stitch this one first then it'll stitch it, this one, this one, this one, this one. Now between the patterns there's just a blue line and that indicates that when, it's, when IQ has stitched this pattern, I've told it to stop and wait for me to cut the threads before it goes on to do this pattern. That allows me to do my stitching here. So actually when this row is done, I'll have one start and one stop. Okay, so I've got the sequencing all set, so I'll set it to sew and we'll watch IQ stitch that first sashing design and then I'll show you how I switch to manual. So I'm gonna I've got my dial all set correctly. Let's hit so quilt. One stitch to bring up my bobbin thread. Okay, IQ has finished the first pattern I told it to stitch and I told it I wanted to cut the threads before it stitches the next one but I'm not going to cut the threads because now I'm going to stitch the outline of that motif in that square so in order for me to be able to do that I need to put um, IQ into manual mode um, when IQ goes into manual mode the drive wheels lift which allows me to move the machine so I'm going to hit realign Here's my button that says manual mode. When I touch that, you'll hear the motors, you'll hear the drive wheels lift. Okay, now one of my drive motors is under the quilt here. It's underneath there. So the fact that IQ did it automatically meant I didn't have to reach around or anything. IQ did it. My other motor is at the back. Um, the wheels are lifted. Okay, so now I'm going to stitch, but I'm going to move my dial to my regulated stitching. Um, and I'm going to stitch around this motif. Now I'll probably move in front of the camera, but um, we'll let that move and I'll get going. So I'm just going to use my machine as I would without the computer. And I'm just going roughly around the edge. I could have stuck a motif on top of this design, but I wanted to outline it since I had fussy cut the fabric. And it's just rough. And I'm not going around every single element, I'm kind of going around the outside around the candy cane, around the bow. In some places like this, I might be doing double stitching. That's fine. I'm trying to keep the stitching as continuous as possible. Uh, now I shall go here. Yeah, 
Now I need to end here at this corner because that's where the motif starts for the next sashing. So I'm going to go in the ditch around and I may have to do some double stitching to come back to there. So let's just finish this off. Okay, and here I am back at the start. So if you can look back at the screen now. This is where my next motif is going to start. And if you look up at the screen, you can see the green crosshairs represent where my needle is and it's right almost exactly at the start of that, of the next design. So to go back into computer control, um, the first thing I'm going, to, I'm going to do is move my dial so I've got my um, machine back on. Uh, uh, constant speed but I'm going to go out of manual mode I finished with manual mode so I'm going to hit finished and you'll hear the drive wheels lower okay so now I've got a message that says touch a reference point on the screen um, it's going to be here the start of the next pattern okay continue move the needle to the location of that reference point and touch okay well I'm already there so I don't need to move the machine so now I can have IQ stitch that next motif. And I'll just pause it. So you can see how useful it is being able to switch from computer control to manual control. It's just a question of touching a couple of buttons and you're in and out. I use it all the time. I'm always moving uh, from the computer to me stitching and back again. We are, with IQ we have no belts to undo or anything and because I can see on the screen where the needle is I can instantly check that the pattern is all lined up and ready to go. Okay so that's a, a good reason to have the IQ with the quick into and out of manual mode. Okay, uh, on the video I showed going in and out of manual mode and I showed you that the needle crosshairs were, the green crosshairs were on the screen showing where the needle was. But you may wonder, well how did IQ know because I was in manual mode. This is one of the motors. The drive wheel is underneath the motor, but this is the sensor wheel. This is always riding on the track. This is always turning. And this is what's telling IQ where you are the whole time. And it was that wheel that was showing IQ where, uh, where the needle was and was, it could put the crosshairs on the screen. So even when you're in manual mode, this wheel is turning. It doesn't put any, there's no resistance, no, you, know, you don't feel any drag or anything, but that's the thing that tells IQ where it is all the time. So that's how when you switch from uh, computer control to manual and then back again, your spot on the crosshairs are exactly where you are because that wheel is telling the computer.